What's up friends and fam? It's your favorite relocation team. My name is Kevin, this is my wife Julia, and today we are going to the Biltmore area, which we absolutely love because it is just so gorgeous there. It is a very resort style living and we're just gonna go over these houses because there's a huge disparity in pricing. Yes. Okay, so these houses go from 510,000 all the way up to 13 million. Um, the 13 million or the multi-million dollar homes, I should say, are in the Biltmore Estates, which are kind of circling around a golf course, which is a really great place right there. And then the less expensive homes are in the surrounding area, but these are only like a mile or two away. They're not that far. It's all the same area. So these people are going to be going to the same shopping, to the same amenities, which we'll get into a little bit later. But let's start off with the expensive homes, right? Yeah, let's start off with those because yeah. we really like those. Yeah. So, I mean, talk about that area. I, I know, gosh, and I talk about this all the time. I used to live here 20 years ago and I used to go hiking at Pistawa Peak, which is at the Biltmore or close to it. And I just used to drive around and lust after those homes. And in fact, I. I still do, and now we do we, it together. We do it together, <laughs> Yes, yeah. it is, I mean, it's just, gosh, it's just a whole different world. It's a different vibe, different feel. It's an older neighborhood, and you can tell by all the mature landscaping and trees, beautiful palm trees. Obviously, we always talk about the mountain views. They're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> the homes, are, the lots are big. The, yeah, just like palaces. Yes. I mean, with these re resort style backyards, a lot of them overlook that golf course, which mm -hmm. is really pretty and green, of course. Yeah. And But I mean, just massive square footage on these homes, which is just ridiculous. They got their own little private roads and mm -hmm. it is just awesome. And yeah, it's not even private. gated. Like you could yeah. just go ahead and drive through the neighborhood. Most of the houses have their own private gates, right. so it doesn't need to be a gated community, but uh, definitely high up on the yeah. security, high up on the amenities, and definitely high yeah. up on the beauty for sure. Yeah, and the price. <laughs> and the price, yes, I know. Uh, but you know, just like we said a little bit earlier, you don't have to be scared that you can't live there. It's actually the same zip code yeah. where you can get homes, you know, starting in the five hundred thousand dollar range yeah so we cruise through one of those neighborhoods where it's like you know really from like five to seven hundred thousand depending on you know kind of what you want what kind of amenities you want in the home but it's a really pretty well kept neighborhoods yeah. and it's just awesome you're just a mile away so yeah. you can have access to these things that the other homes have it's not gonna like they're gonna have special access to something that you know you can't have right we're all in the same area yeah, it's the same zip code same the Biltmore area Okay, so next we're going to show you the Waldorf Astoria Resort at the Biltmore. This, I mean, Waldorf Astoria Resort, like enough said, right? I think yeah. you guys probably know what that is. It's, it's if you a, don't, it's worldwide it's, by Hilton. Yeah, so. it's a very uh, prestigious hotel, um, very posh, <laughs> and this one's not any different. They have a lot of fine dining restaurants, luxury shops with high-end designer names. They have a lot of things that you can do on site, off site, but just wanted to mention some of those things. Mm. Um, they offer private hot air balloon, balloon rides. With, can I speak today? <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was pretty romantic. You can go on um, Jeep and helicopter tours. There's hiking, so you have Pistoa Peak which has amazing hiking. I always talk about that mountain. I used to hike there a lot when I was younger and stronger, <laughs> uh, but it's just right there and it's amazing. Just make sure that if you're here in the summer, you either don't go if you're not from around here or just go really early in the morning. Um, it's beautiful. It's a good workout. It's, if you're not somewhat fit, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Or you can just go maybe just halfway up and come back down. And there's also, you know, this place has seven pools uh, yeah. and, you know, and they have this huge water park for the kids, uh, which is really, I shouldn't say a water park. I just say like a big, huge water slide, but mm -hmm. you know, it looks like a water park in there. It's pretty cool. And of course, like all these places and resorts have places to book your meetings or to sure. book events. If you want to have a wedding at places like this, it's absolutely and gorgeous. And the golf course that's attached And the to golf it. course is attached to it. So you're going to yeah. get all this stuff. It also uh, borders the canals, which is really pretty. Yeah. As well. So pretty. It reminds me of Venice when we lived in Venice. <laughs> yeah, so you get that little water just coming through and again with all the mature growth around, it just really sets it off. It's really pretty. Yeah. So the next thing I want to talk about is Lifetime Health Club. This club is absolutely massive. It's right there by uh, Biltmore Fashion Park. It's right in the area. And this place is a 
luxury gym and it's got a lifetime cafe which is attached to it it also has a lifetime spa which is attached to it and then at the top they have this resort style pool so you get this cool rooftop pool deck mm -hmm. with uh cabanas and all this stuff and i'm like is this a gym <laughs> this is a gym and uh it's pretty amazing they have child care there they have classes uh, they have rooms you can rent out. Uh, this place also has huge saunas and steam rooms with eucalyptus in them. They have everything that you could possibly want in a health club. So this place is really pretty. It's really awesome. And just catching that rooftop pool, if you just want to relax and not work out, that would probably be what I would be doing. I know, right? Seriously. Yeah. I mean, this is have a place of a cocktail bar, but... Go to the gym to hang be, out at the pool. No, I'll be back in four hours, yeah. <laughs> right? No. But really cool spot. They also have a full basketball court and things like that. But I'm not gonna go over membership prices and things like that. Check it out if it's next to you or it's next to one of these areas. It's really cool. Okay, so next we wanna show you the Biltmore Fashion Park and Business Center. This is a great shopping center. Again, I know we always talk about this and we love food, so it's got great dining options yeah. for you guys. Um, you know, fine dining or just, you know, spots that you can just pop in really quick and get some tacos and tequila. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's very popular yeah, here. Yes, so it's very popular. <laughs> High-end shops, William Sonoma, Our House, Pottery Barn, everything you need, Little Lemon, make sure if you go to Little Lemon. Saks Fifth Avenue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was just gonna say, cause I always talk about this, cause we got my Marine here. So yeah. uh, ask for a military discount at Little Lemon. Kevin went there and- I think it was like 25%, 25% which is like ridiculous. Which is incredible. Yeah, usually it's like 10% everywhere yeah. you go. So anyway, little side note. Yeah, don't <laughs> um, quote me on that though. I can't remember. <laughs> I, well, that's, I remember you told okay. me when you came home. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's And again, it's, it's an outdoor area, an outdoor shopping mall with restaurants. So because it's an older neighborhood, you have these massive trees that provide you with just more than need a shade. Yeah. It's really nice to walk through and they still have misters. But not only it's beautiful to look at, it's much cooler. It's about 20 degrees cooler because you got all the shade, you got the mister, so it brings down the temperature by about 20 degrees. Yeah, um, you're not walking in the sun, let's put it that yeah. way. And they have fountains everywhere mm -hmm. and just, it's just a really cool area. And this is a place where you can bring your dogs, which is great, obviously on leash, but yeah. you see people walking sure. through there with dogs and stuff all the time. Yeah, we were um, actually seeing a lot of people walking in because we always go to show you these early in the morning, right, to beat that heat. Right. <laughs> and so there are people walking with their kiddos and their pets, so it's really fun to watch. Okay, so the last thing we wanted to cover for you guys is the Town & Country Plaza, which has all your great grocery shops, all your restaurants, uh, many other little shops, but the major ones that we wanted to show you are Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. Who doesn't love Trader Joe's? I love yeah. Trader Joe's. <laughs> I love the prices and I love their selection. It's usually not as busy as some other places, but this, I love going there and I don't know. Um, this place has a bunch of other things. It's uh, like got Hop Dottie, which is a great burger bar. Yeah. It's got a bunch of other things around it that are not necessarily part of the plaza. You could see, I think on some of my drone footage that there's like Best Buy and there's all these other, you know, uh, shopping and amenities around you. Like, you know, the normal stuff, yeah. the stuff we see kind of everywhere. But the reason why we wanted to really touch on the homes that are around this area that are in the five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar range is because they're going to be shopping here too. You know, the $10 million houses are going to be going to the same places, right? So everything that's around this area is going to really be centered on these plaza right here because this is going to be your nearest grocery stores and your nearest amenities. But I mean, there's so much stuff that's like around here. Yeah. Also, it's also a great place that if you are relocating for work, this isn't a massive business center. And this business center, I mean, there's tons of financial places. Yes. There's there's just building after building after building. It's just way too much. So you're gonna have to see if wherever you work, I'm not gonna cover all these crazy places with names that I can't pronounce half the time. So, I mean, if you work at one of these places, see if they're relocating you there. And chances are you're gonna be living in that same area. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we have only covered four square miles. And there's a ton here. There's so much luxury. There's so many amenities here. Just depends on what your budget is. I mean, you can go kind of as far up as you want to go, but you could have access to these things with, you know, not breaking the that budget at the same time. Yeah. yeah. And you, there's some really cool, cute neighborhoods that are just like really well taken care of. Of course, in that, you know, five to $700,000 range, 
change. There are some really great blocks around here. We've drove past some of them and it's just really great. Uh, we just love these areas. So much to cover, but honestly, give us a call, shoot us a text because we can help you find these places and you know make it kind of easy for you. But tell us what you want and what you don't want, right? right. And until next time, we'll see you later.